Oh, very nice. All in there, it's all lights. All lights. And this, see, is really lit up. Now, did you get those lights at Hobby People? <laughs> Now, are you didn't you didn't turn this on right? It's on right. No, you didn't. You gotta you gotta shut this off. You gotta push these two up and then turn it on because then it goes to channel one. It is on channel one. Is it? I'll need some more tape here. Oh, okay. Let me get my bag of tape. Get your bag of tricks too. All right, here we go. Woo. Oh, look at that. Good job. Oh my gosh, that was close. That was close. Whoa. Dave. Okay, okay. Oh, that scared Dave. Did okay. you see it? Yeah, that scared That me. scared him. That yeah. Geez, it's hard to fly. Why is it hard to fly? Without that dihedral. Really? Yeah, it really wants it. Great. It keeps trying to tip stall or something. Dihedral. It, I guess that dihedral actually really was something that was helping it fly. Remember when we did the decathlon, when you did it? Yeah. What did you do to it to make it fly? You lifted the back of the wing, right? You stuck stuff under oh, yeah. the back. Oh, yeah. Remember yeah. when we angle of attack? Right. It's the same angle of attack, only I cut the dihedral. Maybe what it needs is a block underneath the rear of the wing to give it that attack angle. Oh, yeah. Here's your block right here. Okay. You don't, here, you don't need that one. Yeah. Can't oh really. God! You know what that is? What did you just That's do? A carbon footprint. What did you just do? That's a carbon footprint. Sorry, it's I'm rubber. So sorry. What we're doing here with this piece of trash that we found on the ground is we're putting a little shim underneath the bottom of the back wing. The plane comes with its wing kicked up at an angle a little bit. So what we're doing here with the trash is we're simply taking and putting a little shim behind that wing there and leveling it back out. Okay, that looks very, oh, oh very Okay, so nice. put two more. What? Cut it more? No, more. I, yeah. let's try that. Well, you have rubber bands that are gonna squeeze it all the way down. They're yes. gonna squeeze it this right, I'm true. telling you. All right, all right. Uh, 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 uh. Put one more, let's okay. go have these. All right. Put one more. Have have <laughs> let's go have That's how we have work, we always are negotiating. <laughs> and remember, righty, righty, lefty, lefty. Is that better? That is better, Keith. Is it? Good thinking. Sure. How's it flying? It's How still, does it it's feel? It's feeling better. It's still, see it kind of slide? Yeah. It's not self-stabilizing like it used to be. It's just, it's missing the dihedral. Like the dihedral always centered it out. Yeah. And it's not self-centering like it used to be. Maybe we should put a gyro on the roll. Hey, didn't you just tell the other guy to do that? <laughs> I'm telling everybody. Yeah. Hey, nice plane, put a gyro on it. Shimming the wing so the wing was level with the tail did help, but there still was some instability. And here at this point I'm figuring out that it may be a vertical stabilizer. You know what else? Remember we were messing with the bus and the Hydra with that big body? Yeah. You got mm -hmm. quite a body on that yeah. thing. I mean, that's a lot of area for the wind to hit. Yeah. It might be competing with your vertical tail in the back. Is there anybody behind me? No. Nope. Me. Look at that. Good that's job. a nice plane, huh? It is. Let's go see our buddy. All right. I was out there with that plane. He's, all, hey, all, he's right. all in the way out there. <laughs> I know, that's how you doing. Hi, Ron. It, it lights up different colors, huh? That yeah, awesome. yeah, there's uh, yellow and uh, blue, or turquoise, I guess, uh, aqua, something like that. No. Aqua. Yeah, Are aqua. Spanish? Not agua, dork. Hold on, hold on. Where'd he go? Would you stop? I gotta untie it. Oh, yeah, get this. Make sure you get this. Wait, look, sneaky Pete. Go over here and get this with the fingers, see? Just I give know, me. I know. Ron's got tape, but he can't find the end. He no, got it. He, he got this. This is, this is those at the 99 cent store, but you can't find the end. Now just flick it. Oh, oh look, it oh, drops oh. right out. Look at that. It's on fire. <laughs> Ready and go. Oh, nice. It's on the ground. As the plane slows, you can see the tail sliding down like that. That's a really good indication that there's just not enough vertical stabilizer on the airplane. Good landing. It got a little uh, swirly. It just starts to slide out. You know what it might need is a much taller stabilizer. So that's what it feels like. You think? Do you want me to tape some Depro on the back? I actually don't know if I have any. Yeah, same. You do. So Keith and I finally agree that it probably does need some more vertical stabilizer, so we go to try it. Now Keith didn't bring any tools with him. I didn't bring anything because I'm not flying anything that day. So we ended up using the cardboard from the field to shim the wing up and then we needed to make a vertical stabilizer. 
and all I had was that little red and orange plane left in the back of our car from the shoot 'em up video. So we just took some parts off of that and taped on a vertical stabilizer just to test the idea. If it helped, if it was better, then good. That's what it needs. If it doesn't do anything or if it's worse, well, then we're going the wrong way. I think you were getting away with the smaller tail with the dihedral. Right. Now without the dihedral. That, look at the size of that body up there. Yeah. With that yeah. little tail trying to counter that. That's not a tail. Yeah. That's just a bump in the back. But this will at least test to see if that's what we need as a more stabilizer, which I'm pretty okay, sure now. it is. Vertical stabilizer test. Now it's off. Okay, just don't run into the helicopter. You know what, Keith? What? That, that does it. Okay. That yeah. does it. All right. More stabilizer. That is rock steady now. Okay. It's not sliding out on the turns anymore. Yay! So what went on is with, when it originally had the dihedral and the wings, it was self-stabilizing. Keith straightened the wings out, right. which made it more aerobatic, but more unstable. And I can tell just by looking at it, this tremendous amount of body, see how big that is? Tall. That causes so much instability that you need a really good sized tail to counteract that. And this stock tail just wasn't